Hello everyone, welcome to PyLenin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Hugo on a Windows machine. Now I made this video a couple of months ago, how to build a website without any HTML, CSS or JavaScript knowledge, you know, using the Hugo static site generator. Also, it's a great alternative if you don't want to pay a monthly subscription fees to like WordPress or Wix.com. You can just use Hugo. It is completely free. You only, the only thing you need to do is buy your domain name, right? So it's a great alternative for building a website where, where you don't have to learn any HTML, CSS or JavaScript, at least for the basic functionalities. And you also don't have to pay monthly fees to these huge uh, uh, website building companies, you know. If you haven't checked this out, make sure to click on the i link or the description below and you can see how you can build a website using Hugo in very simple steps. Then make sure to, when you have a website ready, make sure to put it down in the comment section so also I can look at them. One of the comments that I got when I posted that video on YouTube is that people were confused a little bit about installing Hugo on Windows, right? So today I'm going to show how easily you can do it and how you don't have to move, you know, your uh, Hugo distribution files here and there. You don't have to move files anywhere. Okay, so it's very easy and let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so now here in the command line, if I type Hugo version, it says Hugo is not recognized, okay, for obvious reasons. Okay, so now if let's go to Chrome and I will say download Hugo. And here comes up the first link, install Hugo. So now let's wait for it to load. So now let's go here. Here you can see binary cross platform. I mean, obviously for Mac OS, for Linux, for Windows, they have specific ways of download as well. But uh, the easiest way, in my opinion, is binary cross platform. So you just download the distribution file and it runs on any machine. OK, so let's go ahead to this Hugo releases. So it's a GitHub account. And then there we can see which is the latest version. So we see that the latest version is V0.61. I think you should always use the latest version in my opinion. And then when you go down to the assets, we have to search for the Windows uh, distribution. So here I see Windows 64 bit. My com laptop is 64 bit. If depending on what bit your laptop is or computer is download the relevant one, I will download the 64 bit. Okay. So let's wait for the download to finish and I'll get back to you when I have the files ready. So now this is my downloaded zip file. I have downloaded earlier as well. Okay, then I don't need this. Delete. Okay, so we have this zip file. Okay, so let's go ahead and extract it. So now let's extract this. Yeah, well, I already extracted it to practice to see uh, whether it works or not. If you have uh, if you have it already, don't uh, install it or don't download it. But I want to show you how to do it from a clean slate. Okay, so I'm gonna replace it. Let's wait for the replacing to finish. Okay, so okay, so this is my folder in which all the uh, all the extracted files have been stored. So we have the Hugo uh, application file. This is the most important one. This is what is going to help us create the static site generator. Now, ideally what you can do is you can put your project files here. So start building a website here and it will work. All right. But that's not the idea. We want it to be executable from anywhere, right? What people usually do when trying to show you how to install on Windows is that they start moving the application file here and there, store it in a different place. You don't have to do any of that. Okay. What we have to do is basically change the path variable okay so in windows there's a path variable so you just put this executable file there and then it is applied everywhere okay so what first what let's do this thing i want to know the exact location of this hugo application file okay so what i'll do is i'll take this and put it on same command line and then here i have the exact executable so what i'll do i'll just copy it okay Make sure it's copied properly. Damn it. Okay. Now go to search and search for path. 
then you see edit the system environment variables click on it and now here you see the environment variables click on it now what we have to do we see different types of variable and here we have the path variable okay so what you should do here is edit and then just add a new variable and then copy paste or paste uh, the exact location of your Hugo application file here so then press ok that's all we have to do ok so once you have done that now so now uh, we are in a different folder by the way if I go to CD downloads and then Hugo and inside okay I'm still used to working on Mac so here you see Hugo if I run Hugo here Hugo version here this will work because we are in the same folder okay you see Hugo static site generator version so it works but what if we go back to one of our uh, other folders so now we are in the same folder where it said Hugo is not recognized and now if I run Hugo version here Oh, it still says it's not recognized. What the hell? What happened? Okay. Hugo version. Okay, it still says it's not recognized. Okay, let's try to restart our server uh, and then come back and see if the restart helps. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so guys, uh, I restarted my computer and now let's do Hugo version. Okay. Okay, it's still not recognized. So what are the mistakes that we might be possibly doing? We are downloading the Hugo software from the internet. I mean, we don't have any control on that. After download, the only thing we are doing is putting the location of the Hugo applications file in our path variable, which is what you should do. Okay, so maybe we are making a mistake there. Okay, let's go back to our path environment variables path edit and then let's just see what path we have used so this is the path we have used right c user lenin mishra downloads hugo hugo.exe so apparently windows is not able to recognize this folder or this path let's check out other paths that have been defined here and see if maybe there is some kind of difference you know for example python 37 okay python 3.7 you see this is how the path has been defined and then this is where the scripts are so basically for the packages uh, all the packages are downloaded here so one thing I notice is that none of them for example this Python 3.7 this is just the folder this is not the Python 3.7 executable right like it's not that uh, python.py file that actually runs you know uh, it's not the applications file it's just the folder so maybe that's where we are doing the mistake so if I don't pass in the application file and just pass in the folder that okay here's the folder okay maybe now if we try Hugo version okay it's still not recognized okay let's go back to the path again something is wrong here path edit yeah it should be fine okay 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 so let's just close this command prompt let's try again okay so now if i do hugo version there you go it is now hugo static site generator so i had to uh, close my command prompt and restart it again so these things happen you know in every developer's life you have to go through them so if you get frustrated with these things you'll never come out winning all right so uh, one thing i noticed first of all the things we learn one uh, always uh, pass in the folder not the exact file in the path variable okay so you pass in the folder where the file is located and second try to restart your laptop try to restart your uh, command prompt those kind of things and now no matter where we go we can easily access hugo so here also hugo version hugo static site generator cool 
so guys i hope you enjoyed this you know uh, uh, tutorial it's not a tutorial it's more of a, like i'm also learning you are also learning so uh, this video on uh, installing hugo on uh, windows uh, machine if you have any questions put them down in the comment section and make sure to check out the original video on building a website using hugo static site generator i will see you in the next video thank you